and welcome to the death of me. Today in the morning, I was showering for a long time and kind of everything clicked. Steve Jobs used to say that you can only connect the dots backwards and the older I get, uh, the truest I see this quote to be true. Back in 2018, I was very scarce financially and, and lovingly. I had a lot of scarcity mindset, a lot of limiting beliefs. That my insecurities took me to join almost a cult called RSD, Real Social Dynamics. I paid thousands of dollars for online coaching and live coaching to the extreme of flying to the UK and, and going to a live boot camp. So they were teaching me about confidence, they were teaching me about the alpha male mentality. They, they fucked me up in many ways, but they also helped me trust myself and they made me go and talk to random pretty girls in Leicester Square for hours a day. And this is not a, a complaining video. This is not a, a they, they were treating me wrong type video, not at all. They were awesome to me. The thing is just, just, just I was doing all of these things because I was looking for love. And I thought that the girl of my dreams was expecting certain traits or characteristics, 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 anyways, sorry, it's too early. And, um, sorry, just still processing all of this information, you know, it's, Today I look back in the mirror of life and and I see all of that work paying off today as I am with the girl of my dreams and we are this close to sign a contract, a year and a half long contract because we're going to move in together. We're gonna have a home. It's the first time in my life I'm doing such a thing. And I struggled with a fear of commitment throughout my whole life. And it's clear for me that my spirit is, is craving for stability, consistency. And that's why I want to call this video the death of me. This this one is specifically just ideas because I, I had this inspiration this morning. I really want to make a proper video because I'm I'm closing I'm closing a phase of my life. A part of me is it's, it's been dying for months now. And and you cry a lot and you, you actually grieve your associations and your identity. You have to actually grieve yourself because you're dying. The old self is dying and the new self is being birthed. And it's painful sometimes. It 
beautiful too. So sometimes you cry out of joy and gratitude. And that's, just, that's exactly how I feel. Um, in three weeks, we're supposed to move into our new home. I feel confident. Um, all of my trusted friendships um, think that this is a good a good person who I'm dating Rurina which who's probably gonna watch this video and this mom is a uh, um, wait a second ah, this mug is a gift from her mom to me so that I know the, the coordinates <laughs> um, where I have to go and visit her one day I'm on my way <laughs> um, yeah yeah so the, the job the current job company that I'm working for they pay me well and, and they treat me well I've been dealing with a fucking eye dry syndrome I dry disease um, for two weeks now and I'm pretty much at 20% of my capacity and they're still paying me full time so I'm very grateful and I cannot wait to be back I'm, I'm using some special drops that the pharmacists pharmacists made out of my own blood this is a whole month of treatment I'm already kind of feeling better so I'll be back to to my full-time capacity very soon and I'm gonna fucking crush it I know um, alrighty three more minutes it's uh, I don't want to make this shit too long so yeah it's just a lot of magic I'm overflowing with gratitude and and I'm really excited for this new self, this new version of myself. Um, I remember going to the gym uh, and then taking pictures of my amazing life, my amazing body, so that I can get just another fucking like, feel validated feel that I was enough Man, all of that shit it's it's in the past um, I am loving myself truly I have expectations for myself I made health decisions for myself for my future self um, uh, and I'm trying to do my best to care of my relationship. We have a goal to go to Japan one day. So I'm planning, I'm, I'm planning ahead already that after this year and a half contract in this house, well, apartment, uh, we will fly to Japan. I hope the whole COVID shit is less um, intense in a year and a half from now. Um, it's March 22. I'm sorry, March, March 2022. So that's about it. That's about it. I'm not really sure who's watching these videos. Um, Thanks for watching, and if you you spent the time with me throughout the last four years, if we laughed together, if we cried together, if we traveled together, if we went on adventures, if we did some crazy shit, thank you for being with me and for being part of this existence journey. Um, I'm very excited and I'm very well. Everything is being paid off, all the work, all the sacrifices. And um, I can see a new horizon and it looks beautiful.
Thank you.